Car owners' complaints about the Havel F7 engine mainly relate to high fuel consumption. According to the manufacturer, fuel consumption in the 1.5-liter engine is 10.7 liters in the city and 6.8 liters on the highway. But in fact, this figure is higher on average by 4 liters. Moreover, a new car that has not yet been run in may consume 7 liters of fuel more. The situation is exactly the same with the 2-liter power unit. Uncomfortable seat position. As for the seats, car owners complain about the insufficient range of adjustments. They are also not equipped with special lumbar support, so during long journeys this causes significant discomfort due to painful sensations in the back. The situation is aggravated if the driver or passenger is about 90 meters tall. In addition to back pain, many people have pain in their knees and numb legs, especially the left one. The leg, being on the footrest, presses into the lateral support, which is why it simply has nowhere to go and has to be constantly lowered to the floor. It will take a while to get used to such discomfort. The solution to this problem is possible by replacing the seats, which many people resort to, but not only. Especially smart drivers make a special stand for seat mounts. They are installed directly under the seats, so they are visible. With their help, you can easily adjust the seat position for those who lack the standard angle. Lumbar support is also not a problem since it can be purchased anywhere. Washer Nozzles Car owners consider weak washer nozzles to be the weak points of the Havel F7. They complain about the weak pressure of the washer fluid supply to the windshield. When driving fast or in strong headwinds, this becomes a serious problem. Sometimes you have to drive with the glass half clean. At speeds of 100 km per hour or more, the pressure is only enough to reach the wipers or slightly higher. This drawback also infuriates many people because of the response time, which is about a second and distracts from driving. There is a solution to the problem. The standard injectors are simply replaced with those that are equipped on cars from the VAG group. There is nothing unusual about this, it's just that VAG cars have injectors with large outlets. On car forums, many Havel F7 owners claim that the problem with the injectors is more far-fetched than real. They advise using high-quality washer fluid and there will be no problems. Therefore, you need to decide what to do in this situation purely individually. Many crossovers and even SUVs have a small luggage compartment. The Havel F7 has the same problem. When buying a new car, you don't expect that you can't fit the necessary things into it. But for trips to the shops it is quite enough. So be sure to consider this before purchasing. The fifth door is not equipped with an electric drive. This drawback cannot be classified as a critical group, but many drivers have already become accustomed to such a seemingly trifle. This is more relevant if the car is driven by a woman. Havel F7 needs constant diagnostics to identify certain problems. If the driver wants to significantly extend the life of his iron friend, then this rule should not be neglected. Low quality music. If you can't imagine operating a car without good music, then the speakers will have to be replaced. The car cannot be released from the handbrake if the driver is not wearing a seat belt. Thus, the manufacturer demonstrates that he cares about you and teaches you order. Many people disdain the seat belt, so decide for yourself whether to consider this a disadvantage or not. The glass of the multimedia system gives off glare, so it is often impossible to make out the information on the display. The same situation is with the dashboard, the USB ports are inconveniently located, so it will take some getting used to, there is a delay in response time when shifting gears from D to R, which will not allow you to quickly turn around. The above disadvantages do not greatly complicate the operation of the car, but every driver must always be prepared to avoid unforeseen circumstances. The main thing is a responsible approach and timely service. Never forget about consumables and oil changes. Take the time to once again make sure that the car does not have any hidden problems. It is definitely worth the money the company asks for its car. You can find fault with something in the interior, but it makes no sense to compare the quality of plastic in a car for 1.5 million rubles with those that cost several times more. A person who is not very knowledgeable about cars will simply be delighted with the interior design and is unlikely to find any flaw. From the inside, the Havel F7 actually looks decent. At least not as outright, Chinese. Summarizing the results, we can say that the Havel F7 is a fairly reliable car when compared with other cars from Chinese manufacturers. It has no serious technical problems, which came as a surprise to many journalists and car enthusiasts. 
and minor defects and sores can be considered a trifle, since they are also present in many more expensive cars from well-known Japanese and European automakers. It's too early to say how it will perform after hundreds of thousands of kilometers or more, since everything depends on operating conditions. We can only say with confidence that at the moment the Havel F7 is a fairly popular car among Russian buyers.